everybody. How are we doing today? I can tell this is going to be a good show. Yo! Yo! Do you know? You go, oh! What borough? You go, oh! Well, then, then, and then when I go, bro, oh, you say, oh! Do you know? You go, oh! That is B-R-O-O-K-L-Y-N. The hiss of the bus that I missed just because I was busy steering clear of a pile of slush. On the corner there's a great and I'm always running. As the wheels are raped, the city keeps I go. Do you know what the row? Hell yeah! What they have been. My name is Amelia and I play the ukulele. I live two lives, one as a children's music and story entertainer, and the other as a grown-up music siren. Occasionally these two lives collide, and when they do, Something big starts to happen. I traveled the world with this little guy, writing music and making friends in places all over the world, like Spain, Italy, Israel, Kazakhstan, Qatar, London, Australia, and New Zealand. After a while, I got really tired and homesick, so I returned to see my family back home in the BK represent. My sister just had a baby and found herself desperately needing things to do during the day to entertain her kid. So, I started playing uke for her and a small group of friends, and they really liked my songs and started telling their friends to come along. Then their friends stole their friends, and their friends stole their friends, and their friends stole their friends, and pretty soon we had a following. I started out doing children's music shows in local cafes and pubs, and also grown-up shows for adults in the evening. Eventually, I got some great gigs at places like Lincoln Center, 92nd Street Y, The Intrepid, South Street Seaport, Fort Green Park, Brooklyn Public Library, and even in Scotland at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Just like our fans, we're getting bigger and bigger, and now we've got a roster of 200 musicians and thousands of dedicated new friends who want to hear our music all the time. But how can we be in a gazillion places at once? Is this the boy that I used to love? We need a CD! Or maybe... Two? This summer, I'm going to be recording two albums simultaneously. I'll be involving a select cast from over 200 of the musicians that I've worked with these past two years that play instruments like the sousaphone, the didgeridoo, the violin, the saxophone, the geely, and ukulele, of course! I love playing for kids, but there are some things that I just can't say in between lyrics about a slug eating breakfast in bed. My second album will be mainly for grown-ups, where I go back to my Suzuki piano roots with songs that are more compositional based. When you pledge to our campaign, you'll not only get our albums, but you'll be sent the tools to design a swatch of fabric that will be made into a collective quilt. It'll be the thread that binds us together as our symbol of our efforts to make music accessible for all. The final quilt will be included in our album design and go on tour with us next year too. The inspiration for what I do today comes from my mom, a quilt artist. When I was seven, she convinced me to keep practicing by letting me pick out squares of material and then turning them into a beautifully embroidered quilt. We've got the musicians, we've got the songs, we've got the producer, we've got the studio, and we've got the heart. Now, we need you. So if it wasn't for my mom, I wouldn't be here doing this. And if it wasn't for you, 